some kind of anti-theft uh, or deterrent um, to stop people sort of like picking bikes and uh, while you've got security equipment and uh, you know you've got like CCTV and things like that to, to add to all of that sort of attaching something to the bike itself um, now I've on my bike I've got sort of like this rocket dot system and then I came recently and came across sort of like you know select DNA um, which is yeah micro dots it's got ultraviolet ink um, so if the bike was sort of like scrubbed down with uh, you know yeah, with the serial numbers removed or anything else like that you know the police can still pick up the actual DNA from these micro dots and, and still find the um, yeah sort of like the owner or, or attach the bike to the owner anyway so we're here at my brother's house this morning Lovely. Morning. Morning. So we're going to so this. a little present for you. Thank you. You can we'll touch try. that to your uh, to your bike. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you, let's get your bike wheeled out, yeah. and uh, we'll have a look at the we'll have a look have a look at the kit. See what you get in there, and um, and see how long it takes to to do. Right. Nice bike. Well, we need to apply in this to major components of the bike. Apparently, so it says on the back. Quite easy to do. Apparently, it's step one. We can um, we can just apply it with a wand, and it looks like a liquid that we should obviously put to, I'd say, the frame. Difficult parts are where the engine is. So they, even if the engine is broken down, um, you'd have to take the engine completely apart into its bits to to obviously access. So we need to be putting this in quite difficult points. Um, the KTM is a V V twin, so I'll be looking to put it between the cylinder heads or the V or something like that. Um, so we're looking for, I suppose, fuel tank, shocks, what we've got, wheels, frame, engine, any of the major components we've got there to, to, um, to, to uh, stick it to. Looks like after that we're going to apply, just to take a sticker on the, on the screen or on the tank or somewhere, so obviously that becomes you know, apparent to, um, to the thieves. And then last, and but not least, uh, a quick registration on the computer, which we'll show you in a bit. Simple. So we have some stickers, obviously a code, code mark, select, select a mark, obviously a coding mark, we'll find out what to do with that in a bit. That's we'll look, put these that to look, one side. That looks like that's to be etched and that on your on your framework or something. Yeah. I don't know how many we use on that. There's a couple of stickers there. So we see there's our warning stickers. Stickers. So I reckon a sticker. Probably one there. Uh, we're gonna have. I'm well, probably well across here. So. Yeah, yeah, okay, we'll go with that. Right, this comes in, um, yeah, sort of like two parts. Um, we've obviously got the micro dots, um, which is dotted all over the bike, you know, in you know difficult to reach places. Um, so, you know, the only thing that's going to pick it up is going to be like the you know, UV light, and then it'll highlight these little, little tiny micro dots. Um, which can then be picked up and read and that will identify the bike but also we've got this etching um, system as well which is just basically applied to any part of the framework or you know somewhere hidden from view and then we've got um, basically you know uh, another sort of like etching compound um, with a couple of dabbing sticks and obviously a couple of protective gloves um, that's then just wiped over the, uh, 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 the sticker um, left for about three minutes, take the sticker off, alcohol wipe and basically leave it to dry for several minutes and job done. So I think the first thing to do Phil is we'll just get the micro dots and just dot all over the bike. So we'll shake this up, you've got the marking sticks there. So I'm holding the camera as well. Yeah. I think from what I've seen with the price that online around about 50 quid I think that's actually pretty good value. Um, as a deterrent for thieves from sticking, you know, from nicking your bike. From sticking your bike. Right, so I'm going to aim to go tank, frame, maybe just like stock head. Stock head, tight crevices, you know, somewhere where, you know, if, if the police come over with the ultraviolet light, you know, what they're going to see. So can we see any of those market dots now? Have you given it a proper shake? Yeah. Can't see any. Can't see any. Just a white. Oh, can we see? Yeah, they're, they're like grains of sand. Tiny, aren't they? 
tiny. Right, start marking. Right. They're gonna go stock here first. One. That's all it's needed, yeah. Two. Not like down, especially on the frame, maybe down the side here. Do the some the other side. We're gonna go. Shots. We'll come back to those in a sec. Uh, just put another one there, why not? Inside here, on your... Just anywhere and everywhere. This is particularly handy for those people who've got like off-road bikes or quad bikes, because obviously they're not going to be registered with like DVLA or... Um, or any, you know, find any other proof of form of ownership if... Um, the if the serial number's not going to be uh, found. But at least, um, you know, obviously applying this kit We've got a, a firm way of confirming that if your bike is recovered, it can be tracked back to the rightful owner. Well, with the majority of bikes being sort of like stolen from like sheds and garages, um, many do come to be recovered. However, the lack of recording and detailed markings often lead to uh, the true identities being hidden and lost forever. At least marking a bike with. Uh, this unique form of DNA and a UV tracer with the micro dots and uh, tamper proof TESA labels. At least we're providing the bike a unique identification and recording on it on a police approved database. By security marking it, you are reducing the chances of theft by increasing the chances of identification. More to the point, at least it's a deterrent for any potential motorcycle thief to come up knowing that the bike's absolutely covered in these unique micro dots. I mean all of the marking features of the select DNA are traceable back to the vehicle identification number, the VIN number, therefore the owner. Uh, see look all that ink, it's, uh, it's all dried up and disappeared so there's actually no trace of it whatsoever. I mean, what we've also got is a, uh, a select DNA little torch. It's a, a white torch, but also there's a, an ultraviolet torch. I don't know if you can see that. The ultraviolet torch there can obviously pick up where all the uh, where all the uh, rocket dots are. But also, you get in the pack if you've got uh, uh, is, a, is a membership card, um, and on the back of the card are, are all, all the yeah the the, the details and the relevant pin number that's uh, if you have a change of ownership of the vehicle um, just hand the card over and I suppose that that person or you go online and just change the um, the registrant details so that should be easily done we'll have a quick look at that later um, but I know that with um, you know I think there's a couple of other marker dots I think you pay like an annual membership um, you know just to obviously keep your you know details live on on record um, which is sort of like you know uh, one of the micro dot systems which I've got on my bike. Um, I do pay like an annual fee just to sort of like just keep it. But this one actually, there's no annual fee. Um, you know, had I known about this earlier, I would have easily sort of like chosen Select DNA um, and apply that to my bike. Personally, I think uh, micro dotting and uh, etching your bike as a, a theft deterrent. Um, it's, it's, it's important for your machine. Uh, you know, you've got a couple of stickers which you can put on your bike. Any prospective police going to come look at that? I mean, why would they want to be handling handling sort of stolen goods? You know, yeah. Around the barrel, the key barrel for it. Just wipe it around the inside. Just wipe it all the way around the inside. That'll be yeah. the first part. Yeah, all the way around. Don't have to dot it. That's it. Lovely. Right now we're moving on to the uh, the etching. You got like six net on here, so it should be relatively straightforward. Um, so what you need to do, Phil, is if you uh, hang on to that, right, tear one off, right, perforation. Right, that's it. Good rest to me. Right, I'll hang on to that. Right, I'm gonna hang on to that. Right, take the base off, but you leave the strip on top alone. Take the large backing area off. That's it, that's it. Right, and then apply that to your 
Seems to be holding, holding its own. So, three minutes, I'll we'll leave. Put the glove on. You swim. down there so it just fills those holes For three minutes. Right, after three minutes, we can just uh, basically peel that away. And if you get the. Look at it. leave that for several minutes to dry so there we have it one bike is fully mocker dotted up um, and it's got the etching um, uh, you know, the, the etching numbers that have been applied um, we've got stickers are on um, registered it. it's registered and you probably need to probably spend about an hour from start to finish um, the etching takes about three minutes of time if you've got sort of like three etching kits you want to put on there well that's going to take 10 minutes in itself obviously you can carry on mocker dotting in between um, but obviously we'll be finding out and feeling our way through reading instructions how to do things so hopefully this little video might have like sped things up a bit for you um, all in all anti-theft deterrent uh, you know, uh, application very much worth it you know for 50 quid and i think you can apply online is um, you know is, is worth every penny by market and i think if you mention it with uh, insurance companies they might even give you a discount and if it's like a, a 10 20 quid discount well then that makes this kit only like 30 quid theoretically so why would you want not want to do it um i must buy my book and um, phil what do you think yeah no, it's good very easy to apply easy to register as Dean said yeah might be worth a question with the insurance company they might be able to get some discount on that but um generally yeah i think thumbs up very easy to apply and that's it it's done hopefully secured good job um so that's it for this video i'd like to thank you very much indeed for watching um and if you like this channel with me and my brother <laughs> 075 then uh, do subscribe i'll speak to you later cheers, cheers.